Good afternoon, happy Sunday to us all. Um, welcome back, this is episode 55. Um, I hope you all had a lovely Saturday evening. Uh, where you left us off last, we were just getting the pre-season started and also just trying to bring in some more players. Um, I've just, we've signed this player here, Joachim Muscadera. Uh, Richie Moran, who I'm sending out on loan. Joe Gelhart, who in hindsight was probably a waste of a signing because we've got other strikers. And I brought back Collins Faye. He's never going to play for us. He's not good enough to be a director of football. I'm going to send my coach in, of course. Uh, if I can somehow convince him to be a coach, maybe I'll look at that. But he's not good enough to be a coach. Uh, he wants to be a director of football. He's got no chance of being director of football. Um, so I've just signed him for the nostalgia reasons because I just absolutely loved him when he was here before. Um, we'll just go back to the previous season cases and anything I've missed. Oh yeah, we signed quite a few players to be honest. Um, McKen we signed a lot of free transfers that come available and then uh, did anybody leave that we didn't mention last episode? No, I think it was just all like loans and stuff. So yeah, we sold... Uh, El Dakil, uh, Rocky Balboa, and Carl Joseph. So yeah, that's as far as we've got. We've got another friendly, and then I think we've got, at some point, we've got the, in a bit, we've got the Europa League qualifying. So by the end of this episode, we should have pre-season done, and we should be having the start of the Europa League campaign. Let's uh, see we signed some South American players. Also, he's very good in real life. I think I think Brighton signed him in real life. Right, let's see how we get on. No, I don't. I think, as far as I'm concerned, once these players that we've gone for sign, I don't think we're going to be going for anybody else. I think I'm just going to shift most of it into the wage budget. Um, I'm quite happy with the squad that I've got. I've managed to bring in some good options. Still got a massive amount of wage budget as well. Hopefully I can get the ball to agree to improve the training facilities because they keep rejecting it. Not that we need to worry too much because the training facilities are are very good. State-of-the-art training facilities. I don't know how what else you can get better than state of I think that's a bug then. That must be a bug. Or is it youth facilities I just asked to? Because I think we can still get better youth facilities. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, the end of the next, the end of this season coming up. We will be moving into a new 18,000 stadium, which will be make a big difference to the crowds we can bring you. So hopefully it will benefit us financially. And also hopefully it means we can expand the stadium, try and get it to 30,000 or something. Yeah, sadly we couldn't find any superstar players in the last episode on a free transfer, like a Paul Bob or Deli Alley type of signing, which is a shame. As I said, you can't win them all. So they've got all these clubs after Maldini, but they're not willing to give me what I want for them. Uh, see, such poor offers. We'd, we'd make a big loss on him if we... Uh, I want to I wanna at least get my money back for him, or get close to that. So I'll offer him out for 7.5, see what happens. Gary Rui, what's such a poor offer for him?
don't know what's happened with Gary Rudy because he went from being rated at 10 to 11 million to being only rated to 1 million now. I don't know what's happened. Yes. Oh, it was the use of facilities. I was wrong. So it wasn't a bug. It was the youth facilities, and we've managed to convince them to upgrade the youth facilities. That's good. I think that's it, really. I think we're maxed out on everything else. I'll try and get in some more scouts, but I don't think they will let us. But you never know. Another friendly coming up against Coventry. Coventry is another team I'm thinking of doing for FM25 as a long term save. I've always had a soft spot for them since the early 90s, and uh, I also had one of my favourite ever saves on FM, if not my favourite save ever on FM. With Coventry City many, many FMs ago, probably like 10 years ago. If I, I'm going to try and negotiate this to 6 million. Um, the reason why I love the... Oh, they have accepted that, that's fine. Uh, the reason why I love that save with Coventry was because it was such a challenge every season because you have literally no money at Coventry at the time. I know the finances were a little bit better now, but... Um, and, uh, and basically every season you had to sell your best players just to balance the books and then you had to try and replace them with either the youth players that you've got which weren't the best because the youth facilities were so bad or uh, you had to try and find a bargain on the free transfer market so and I only just stayed up every season so it was just it was so enjoyable for them reasons alone and I just, I've, I've really struggled to replicate that since. But my save with Wraith Rovers is becoming one of my favourite ever FM saves. And I've played, I've played football manager and championship manager before that, since like '93. So that's a big uh, compliment to this save. So I'm hoping other people are enjoying it. Um, they might not enjoy the style of how I. How I produce the videos and stuff like that, but I'm hoping that you're enjoying the, the 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 journey with Wraith Rovers, the the con, you know, I mean, the content that I'm creating with it. Uh, no, I just said I'm not signing anybody else. Why am I looking at players? I have a problem. I just I'm like a hoarder. I just want all the players. Oh, that is a tempting offer. But I'm gonna say no. Uh, oh. I'm so glad at the moment the Duos hasn't kicked off about it. Rosa change, that's fine. Right, let's see how we get on against Coventry. Oh, we signed him. Oh, he was a waste of a signing, wasn't he? Oh, well. Alright, let's we'll see how we get on against Coventry. And then after that, we've got our first Europa League game. Hopefully we can qualify to the group stage. So that will be really good for us financially. We've got to see, eventually, see the Europa League as a way of us getting in the Champions League. Maybe if we can win the Europa League somehow, that will help us get into the Champions League. Which means more money. Uh, sign this player on a freebie I love a South American winger uh, 
Right, St. Patrick's Athletic next game. Got the home leg first. Try and send you out on loan, get you some first team football. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, still slowly waking up this morning. Yeah, so we signed a talented fullback. He is a definite, adequate replacement for Rui. But we're going to send him out alone for the season, I think. So even if we sell Rui, we've got decent enough right back options. Um, but he'll be like the long term successor for Rui if we end up having to sell him. Hopefully we won't. I'm hoping that the the the, the clubs will give up and I can't imagine everybody's gonna offer us uh, fourteen million for him either. It will be a successful transfer window if we somehow manage to get away with... Oh, I don't know, let's have a look. Oh, bloody hell, we haven't put Deli Alley in the team. Nope. As I said, it would, be, it would be a very good, successful season if we somehow manage to avoid selling Rui or and Dewhurst. Yeah, good player for the future years. He was a good sign, in him. Uh... We'll send him out alone for the season. Hmm. Ah, that's a shame. He'd have been a good signing for us. He'd definitely been a good uh, replacement for Rui if we could have signed him, but oh well. See, I could sign these players, but I just there's no there's no need for them. That for that, yeah, no problem with him either. He'd be good though. We need a decent centre back, I think. Right. So we've got Duist in goal. Rui is right back. Goldson's making his debut. Manning as well, and then we've got Bruce as well. So we've got literally a, near enough a brand new defence, uh, brand new midfield. With Devlin and Moran, uh, we've got all new players on the wings, and we've got Hoyland. So the only two, three players that are in the team last season was Hoyland, Dewhurst, and Rui. So I don't know whether this is a good thing or a bad thing. I'm hoping it's a good thing. I also think that we uh, rest in some players by the looks of it because I don't think this is our strongest team. So I think there's a. I think this is like a. I think they're, they're that confident. The assistant manager is that confident that we'll win this easily. That he's rota rotated a few players. So uh, we'll see. First highlight, hopefully, to us. I oh, just thought we got this and the Premier Premier Sports Cup. So we've got some easy games for the next couple of episodes, I think, maybe. Manning with the corner now. Oh, that was a driven one. I like that. That had some stink. That had some stank on it, that did. He's going to do another one now. What's he going to do? Probably go down straight to the goal this one. Yep, there we go. Just, oh, see, I could make millions if I predicted this. I'd be a millionaire. Right, good start for us so far. They've got a free kick though. Oh, 
good clearance. Go on then, Hoyland. Uh, I thought he was going to keep going. Uh. Okay, what are you doing? Got a couple of ginger players on the pitch by the looks of it. A couple of redheads. Good tackle there, Rui. There we go. Showing a bit of fight there. I like that. That's it. Now what are you going to do with it? Good. Go on, McCurk. Don't let me down. There you go. Well done. Come on, let's get it forward, not keep passing it back. That's a good pass, Goldson. Uh, Valesia, there we go. Hoyland, first goal of the season. Glad we didn't sell him now. I reckon Hoyland will probably get 10 goals by the time we finish that Premier Sports at, uh, group stage thing. Just like Oberfemi did last season. Rui's fitness is not the best, is it? First game of the season, and he already looks like he's going to have to come off in a minute. Yeah, he can't, he can't, he doesn't last a uh, bloody first half. He's... Let's have a look at his, is he got, is he injury pro? Uh... I don't think it says anything on here, does it? Let's have a look, uh, reports, medical report, there we go. So, overall risk of injury high. Uh, training workload for its oh, okay right so what we need to do there is not double intensity Jesus Christ half intensity there you go hopefully that will help so we don't want him being haggard every flipping game Now Goldson's isn't that good. Uh, Suter. Ali Salah's not playing well, so we'll put Lewis Vaughan on. We'll give him a bit of game time, keep him happy. Ah, uh, Bruce is not good now. Uh, can't take more players off. Bruce, you'll just have to crack on with it. Oh, they got a throw in. You watch them equalise now. Oh, we were lucky then. They've been playing well. As much as I thought we'd thrash them, we've not done what I thought we would do. Oh, there we go. Go on, Vaughan. Oh, poor Lewis Vaughan. <laughs> poor bugger. Ah. Nah, I don't think that's going to be allowed. VAR come to our rescue, maybe? Ah, that's a shame. Not the best to be conceding a, an away goal. I don't, think, I don't think away goals count anymore, do they? So it doesn't matter. Hopefully we can beat them in the away leg. Uh, Rui, no, you're not going anywhere. Right, so we've signed this bloke here. Oh, God. Oh, okay. I think maybe in hindsight that was probably a bad idea. Oh, well. Nothing we can do about it now. Right, Paredes. What's his uh, personality like? Balanced, okay. Let's see if he wants to join the mentor. No, he doesn't. Right, got a friendly against Middlesbrough next. Send you out on loan. I feel like we've got a very bloated squad now. Yeah, Richie Moran gone on loan. Let's 
find him as well. I'll send you out alone. Hopefully you'll do well. Nakamba. Uh, where's training? Uh, there it is. Why is Bowler not happy? Oh, left out the squad, isn't he? It's alright, Bowler, we're resting you for the proper competition in the Scottish Premiership. Oh, maybe we're not in the Premier Sports Comp. Are we? Oh, we're not in the Premier Sports. Uh, oh, yeah, Lewis Wall's got his testimonial, see? Uh, competitions? Where is it? There we go. Uh, oh, I don't know what's going on here. Right. We'll soon find out. I'm assuming we're in the Premier Sports competition. Unless teams in Europe don't play in it because of all the fixtures they'd have to play. Or maybe they don't they don't join it until the later stages or something, I don't know. Uh oh there we go. Lewis Hall's off. Hopefully he's not off before he gets to play his testimonial. So there you go, we got rid of Maldini. We got we didn't we didn't we lost money on him, but um we do get thirty percent of the next transfer, so I mean that actually might work out really well for us. Um eleven to sixteen million, so What's 13, if we say 13% of like 15, 1.5, 4.5 million, so we get like 4.5 and a half million. Like and a half million. Uh, hopefully we'll get a decent, we might be able to cash in that clause quite quickly and make a couple of extra million on him, so then we'll at least get our money back for him. So we did spend 7.5 million after signing on a free transfer. Selling him. And then rebuying him for 7.5 million. And he did well, but then he just kind of tailed off at the end. He would actually be a good. I'm not signing anyway. Stop it. Right. Brandon Barr. I'm assuming he'll be the replacement for Maldini. Huh? Uh, another player we're probably never going to play. I, I, in my head, I thought they would have got us some extra money in merchandise sales because they're from the Middle East. And I thought maybe we'd get some fans. I was trying to think of it from a business point of view. Longello's not happy. He was left out of the Europa League squad. There we go, we can get another reserve coach in, so at least there's that. Oh god, I remember him. Lewis Binks. Uh, Scottish player. He'd be an improvement on Goldson because Goldson's quite old. So we'll sign him. Ross Bark. There we go. He's not like a poor Pogba, but, you know, currently in real life doing well with Luton Town. Uh, former England international as well, so that's nothing to. Uh, you know what I mean? 33 caps. So he'd be the closest we'd get to a big time signer. Who's he? 
Yeah, I'll sign him as well. Let's just, I know I've really gone, gone back on my word, and I I do think we are lacking in uh, centre back backups. So I'm probably saying that, and we've probably got like 10 million of them. Uh, no. No. I'm still annoyed that they're still going for these my players. Can't they just give up? Right, let's just have a quick look at how many players we've got all together in my squads. Oh, why can't you just let me... I hate this when this happens. Come on. Oh, hold on. Sometimes when you just keyboard doesn't work the way oh my god look how many players we've got 80 80 bloody players over the three squads that's ridiculous how many have we got in the first team squad 53 <laughs> Jesus Christ um, <laughs> okay maybe we look at trimming the squad a bit I think maybe All right let's try let's see how many goalkeepers we've got we've got Far too many. Dewurst is probably going there. We'll get rid of McCory, I think. Right, so we'll get rid of McCory. Um, Bryn has only just signed a new contract. Uh, we've only just signed Clark. Probably look at getting rid of him. I think he's only just signed a new contract, actually, as well. Right, so that's the goalkeeper saw it. Now let's look at the left backs. See how many left backs we've got. Rui, no, we're not getting rid of any of them. We're not getting rid of these. Uh, Colin Faye, we're not going to worry about him because he's just there for the nostalgia. I only just signed him. Longello is our left back cover. Uh, then again, I do like Longello. No, I'm going to leave it. We don't. I don't mind having a free left back options right he's at, uh, maybe him he is very versatile but yeah we'll get rid of him uh, I think that's it really we were right on there right back ones we don't have many right backs we've got loads of like we haven't got many, see, we haven't got many defenders, have we? Centre defenders. One, two, he's not going to be first team centre back anyway. One, two, he's more of a right back, he's also young. Um, so you've got one, two, three, you've got four centre backs that are experienced. So we definitely could do with some more centre back cover. So I was right in what I was saying. Uh, defensive midfield, we've only just signed him. Uh, can we cancel his loan? Yes, we can. There you go. So we've got rid of him. Uh, Petrovic has only just signed. We're not getting rid of Pogba. Uh, we've only just signed him. He signed a new contract. He, we've only just signed these. Uh, can we look at maybe getting rid of Rios? I think he's our only one that we can get rid of at the moment. Some of them we'll just have to look at getting rid of in January. But he's only signed a new contract recently, Rios. So I don't think he'll be getting any interest. <clears throat> right, let's try centre midfielders now. So, some of them we've already gone through. Uh, yeah, Deli Alley, we're not getting rid of you. Lewis Vaughan's going. Let's try attacking midfielders now. Uh, we've only just signed these. So, a lot of these we won't be able to get rid of. Uh, Paku, I forgot we even had Paku. Did he play any time? No, we'll get rid of Paku. Kev won't be happy. We're getting rid of a former Peterborough player. Lelujo, sorry, not Kev. Uh, right. We won't just sign him. We won't just sign him. Yeah, so there's not really anybody else we can get rid of on there. Let's try left wingers. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look how many left wingers we've got. Most of these we probably won't be able to get rid of as well. Because they've been only just like, ah, there we go. We'll look to get rid of Carozo, I think. As good as he is, as good as he's been. 
it's time to try and cash in on him as best as we can. Uh, Dorigo as well, maybe we'll look to get rid of him. Uh, not Ross Stewart, we're keeping him. Bowler, we're keeping Palacios. We'll get rid of Palacios. Uh, we'll just get uh, right. So at least we are able to get rid of a few of the wingers here. Uh, let's try right wingers now. So we've got Mike Giles. We're trying to send out on loan. Let's try again. Uh, who else? No, we're not getting rid of we're not getting rid of Deli Ali, that's not happening. Right, so there's no one else we can get rid of on there. Right, so look at the strikers now. Uh we had any offers for him? Yeah, we have. So I'll just try it. I know I can't release him. I think he's the only one we can get rid of, really. Yeah. So we've done our best, as best we can. Oh, let's have a look at the reserves and let's see if we can get rid of some of these players. A lot of these are on loan. Have a look at Goldies. He's only just signed. Uh, uh, they've only just signed. Who's he? Oh, he's our youth prospects. We're not getting rid of him. Send him out on loan. Jack Campbell. There you go. We'll get rid of him. Rotten in the reserves. Josh Campbell, yeah, we'll get rid of you. Uh, okay, so that's that. Let's try this one. Did we get rid of Tardowski? No, I think he's good enough to stay here. Get rid of Karen Parrish, though. Paris, sorry, depending on how you're saying it. Uh, uh, so, Poku's going, we've then just signed Colwell. Uh, no, nobody on that side. And that, we've already done that. Right, let's try it under 18s. I'll just get rid of you. Uh, we'll do it by position again. So, goalkeeper. No. We haven't actually got a goalkeeper for the under 18s. Um, these are all relatively good. No. Uh, no. Nope. Yeah, so we're getting rid of as many players as we can. Uh, it won't make much difference at the most if we sell all of them or get rid of all of them. That'd be about 10 players that we've managed to shift and we've just signed another one. So it's still going to be a big squad for now, but we can look at trimming it again in January. Going to have to try and be a bit stricter with signings now, I think. All right, how are we doing for time? Okay. 
So we'll play this game and then I'm going to call it a day for this episode. And then uh, on Monday we will hopefully carry on with the season and start the league season then. hope we can beat St. Patrick's Athletic. Um, they won't be easy. Can I release you already? Would you be willing to leave? No, typical. I have buyer's regret with him and that other one. Ah, ball was out for a few weeks. That's not good. A lot of unhappy players. What can go wrong? After all, it is morale manager, so we'll probably lose this game now because all the players are not happy. Some of these we're probably going to have to release on free transfers, I think. Right, have we had any offers to him? No. So, we'll try one million. We'll try one million and see if we can get... I'm not, if I can't get rid of him, I'm just going to keep him. Because I do like Corozo, he's a good player, but he's been here a while. Same as Dorigo. Him. No. Uh, we've had offers with Plasios, haven't we? Yeah. I need loan offers though. Better than nothing though. Uh, we had offers to him, haven't we? Yeah. And Poku, I think. Carl Hooden, I think we've had. Oh no, we haven't, so we can get rid of him. Oh, we can't. Oh, he's he's on loan. He's on loan. Um, Josh Campbell, we can get rid of though. Uh, and we're not getting rid of him. We just wanted to send him out on loan. Right, see if I can send him out on loan to one of my feeder clubs. There we go. Lewis Binks. Good improvement in the centre back department. Oh, there we go. Ross Barkley's in. Good marquee signer. Good player as well. First touch is really good. Um, probably an improvement on like Pogba and Deli Alley just because he's a little bit younger. We've signed this. The DOF has signed this way. He's a good player by the looks of it. Devlin's not happy. Right. Training, mentoring. Yeah. Right, big game now. Let's see how we get on. So Duris in goal, Rui is right back, Golson and Man in the centre defence, Bruce on the left, Mascueno and Devlin in midfield, uh Valasia, McKirk and Ali Salia on in the midfield, and then Hoyland up front.
like a free kick to us. Hopefully this will be a good start to the to the game with the free kick. Manning taking his sweet time. I think this is going to be indirect one. I don't think he's going to shoot from here, but I could be wrong. Oh, I was wrong with the post. Bloody hell. Oh, no. Hoyland's getting sent off, any? he? No? Well, that was lucky. Right. Goldson. That was a terrible pass, Goldson. He's just giving them the ball there. We're going to lose this. Oh, good, 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 good. Go on, Hoyland. I need him to focus. Good tackle there by Devlin. Passing it around here, I think we're a bit nervous by the looks of it. Is there a is there a stay calm or relax? Calm down. Calm down. Mm. I don't think that would work in the grand scheme of things, I think. Jesus Christ. I mean I mean I just had a feeling that was gonna happen. I'm gonna watch that again. <sighs> Look at this, we're just playing. Yeah, passing around. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. I said they were nervous. Right. You lot are getting berated. I'm going to be so annoyed if we get knocked out of the Europa Conference already. Good. Well done, Goldson. <laughs> My nose is a bit bunged up. I do apologise. I haven't got any tissues on me to blow my nose. And I don't want to pause the video because my mic is very temperamental. So if I move, it will bugger everything up. So, right. Go on, Salia. Ooh, nearly. Right, corner to us. Man in. Oh. Yes, that's more like it, lads. That's more like it. Goldson, there you go. Man of the match so far. I know, yeah. Uh, Valesila. I know. Manning. Manning's had the best rating so far. Oh, at the post. Starting to pick it up a bit now. Which is good. But we could do in another goal though. No, we don't want them to bloody score. Oh Jesus Christ. Hoyler known goal. Right, let's try berate and again see if that'll do it. Let's demand a bit more. Oh god, they're gonna score again though, aren't they? Thank God for doers then. That was good good say. Well done, Marcus. Come on, let's get the ball. Let's counter attack here. Okay, right. Oiler needs to come off. Which we give We'll give, give him a uh, we'll give Joel. I'm gonna call him Joel because I can't pronounce his surname. We'll give Joel his debut. Oh. Uh McKirk's not good. Shankland in there. I'm so sorry about my nose. I know it doesn't sound very nice. Right. Come on, lads. Right, who else can we eat? Right, let's take... Oh, we can't take anybody else off now. Uh, it's going extra time, isn't it? Uh, 
I demand a bit more. I feel like we're given them everything that we can really. I just I think this is gonna go to penalties by the looks of it. Try firing them up, see if that'll do anything. Ah, oh, here we go. Alright. They've got the first penalty. Come on, do worse. Uh, he went the right way, but just couldn't save it. Shankland. Yes. Good, good, good. I was getting nervous then. McCormack for them. Come on, Dewey, become a hero. Ah, oh, he went the wrong way. Now I'm nervous. Manning. Yeah, thank God for that. Well done, Manny. Right, pressure's back on them now. Come on, Dewurst. Ah. Yes. Well done, Sally. Yes, go on, Dewurst. Right, the ball's in our court now. Come on, Joe Hart. Yes, we're in the driving seat now. Come on. We score our next one. Doesn't matter what they do, as long as we score our next one. If Dewurst saves this, we are through to the next round. Come on, Dewurst. Come on. Ah, oh, nearly. That's fine. We score this, we're uh, we're through, but the pressure is on. Who's lining up for this one? Right, Petrovic, okay. Come on, Petrovic, you can do it. Come on, be a hero. Yes, get in. Thank God for that. Oh, poor uh, Lewis Vaughan won't be able to get his testimony after all. Clark is looking at Gary. Ro oh, Gary Room and Cameron Bruce in the uh, potentially in the next Scotland squad. So that's good. Let's uh, have a look at the fixtures now. So yeah, uh, but Lewis Vaughan won't be able to get his testimonial after all. Right, what are we doing for time? Now I'm going to call it a day. Bloody hell, we've gone, we've gone long in this one. Right then, this is the end of the episode. Um, thank you as always. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And we'll be back on Monday for a whole new season for Rafe Rovers. So yeah, thanks as always. All the best. Bye.